Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Oh boy, I went somewhere else there. That was wacky. And, I got uh, to speak it in tongues. Yeah. It's weird to think there's still a lot of just audio listeners. Yeah, That's what it was. you're missing out. Mostly audio. Really? Mostly. Like 60, 65% audio. Oh, I got to wow. stop with the visual gags. We got our legs up. I'm blowing you. We're putting the, <laughs> the mic up our ass. You're missing out with the audio. But I mean, keep listening. But but they're like me. I don't watch a podcast. Yeah, I just, it's mind blowing to me to put a podcast on the television and sit and watch it. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I do both. But I'm with you because I'm a mover. I'm on the subway. I'm on the stairs. I'm on the street. So I like uh, an audio. Well, sometimes I have, they have like, you know, I'm a sober guy. They have like AA speaker tapes on YouTube. Mm, and speaker so, tapes. Yeah, it's a guy going, hey, uh, I was gay and now I'm not, oh, whatever. Speaker tape parade. But um, so I want to listen. So I watch it's YouTube. But with YouTube on vi- the video, the app, you can't close your phone and keep yes, listening. It's a video. you hate that? So this week I was on the flight and I was just listening to these tapes. It really is helpful and nice. My phone time was like 11 hours. Oh, the screen time because you had it up because you have to have it leave it on right so I'm like half asleep on the plane like this with just a video playing yeah. it's a guy falling down and yelling yes that's the thing about uh, what do you call it screen time is they don't give you a breakdown they don't go hey you had 11 hours but hey Nine of that was AA. Good for you. You know, they just go, you're a piece of shit. They kind of do. Well, you can go in the analytics and really get right. your bars and graphs and meters, but it's not It's not like they go, hey, 11 hours, good job, you were reading a book. I feel they, this way. I've said this before, too, like Google Maps. Yes, that's huge. I'll drive from here to Nova Scotia, and yes. it's like, hey, your screen time was up 300%, and I'm right. like, well, I was Google mapping. I, was Google I wasn't mapping. scanning the comments. Yeah, Uber drivers must have 9 million hours of screen time. Good point. Those guys never sleep because they don't, you know, make any money. No, no, and they're, you know, molesting people in the back of the cars. But yeah, there's some Uber stories out there. Go to the, go to that on the YouTube's. I mean, people getting you in a headlock from the back. Women showing their clams. It's wild. Those Ubers. Yeah, it's a it's a kooky situation. I feel like you're a YouTube guy. I love the white tea. Yeah, it's so interesting. I'm starting to come around. This is my this is my problem. Talk about screen time. The algorithm that finally got me. They scooped me. Oh, they scooped the niblets. They scooped the niblets because I've always been good with screen. I've never gotten wrapped up in watching reels uh, or twitches. Yeah, well, that or, I don't deal with too much. Because I've always just looked at my numbers and gone, oh, i got to kill myself. I'm going to have a son who will never have any money because my videos stink. And now... They figured me out. Ah. It's all Jordan and Scorsese. They and got you. I'm just, they hooked me, Jerry. They hooked me, Jerry. Yes, I yes. turn it on. They go, on this date in 1988, Michael Jordan dumped 38 on the Hawks. And I'm like, well, let me sit and watch this for a few minutes. Yeah, I didn't even know the Hawks were a team. And then you go, oh, they got uniforms and everything. And wow. then you go, all right, I got to get out of here. I scan up, and it's like Marty Scorsese, like, sucking on his glasses, being oh. like, well, we made Taxi Driver, you know. Yes. And I go, oh, I got to hear this. When I see those eyebrows are moving, I I'm tuned in to Marty. So I tune, and then I go, all right, I got to get out of here. I'm not even, my my father's gay. So I scan over, and they go, don't forget George Costanza once said my father's gay. And then I got to send that to every Tom, Dick, and Harry, you, Veter, Kramer, the butler. They got you, Jerry. And I go, okay, I'm out of here. And then just the top, I just see the top of old MJ's head, and I go, what's he doing here? And it's it's best reverse layups from Michael Jordan, and they hooked me. We got a live one here. They're just reeling you in, baby. (laughs) Woo-wee! Hold on, let's do the photo. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just I'm 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 Gonzo, and they fucked me, and YouTube too, because I got John Boy. You know about John Boy? John Boy, I don't know John Boy. I know John, John, John with an M. John. John. No, John. John Boy. This guy, he's like a sports guy. Even if you don't like sports, it's baseball. He's a lip reader. What? It's unbelievable. You got to get on John Boy. You'll love it. I mean, really? I don't know that you'll love it, but. 
some people out there will love it. Lip reader is what I call eating out a lady. I'm reading Gwen's lips. <laughs> or whatever. He's a BL. Uh, beautiful lines woman. Mm. But he's great. He has all the baseball arguments. You know, you've seen the baseball argument. You think, what are they saying? You're talking about where they kick the dirt, the umps are yelling, they're chest bumping. Yeah, <laughs> I the love chest that. Bump. That's from the 60s. Yeah, you get <laughs> suspended and shot for that. That's um, Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> yes, exactly. But uh, You got the plate. You know, you got the, the padding there. The pad. Yes. Bachelor pad. <laughs> I never understood that. Pad tie. Hoy, hoy, <laughs> You can't really get in trouble for that because uh, you made a noise. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, and I've done it on every <laughs> podcast ever, so I feel like it's okay. Ooh, that gets me every time. It's really a lot of fun. <laughs> well, noises are funny. That's yeah. a funny noise. You know what's so funny is, by the way, you know, not to go off on speaking of social media, <laughs> every once in a while someone will write to me and be like, you're a liberal cuck fucking yes, piece of yes. shit trying to pander people have kids me pandering to the left i'm like i've done asian voice and everything all i talk uh, about is how much uh, i love the yeah. cops i want homeless people to die i talk they, about new york city's a toilet they pick and choose uh, dave smith i uh, was hanging out with him the other night he got a, an ad or a comment that said oh you're you're really just a classic conservative and he's like yeah classic conservative La- yesterday me and my friend saw whose assholes was bigger <laughs> you know on camera classic conservative over here going to church you know raising a kid the whole thing it's just hilarious. I'm like, you're pandering to the left. I'm like, I'm making a film with Louis C.K. and yeah. saying uh, the F word and anything. I'm like, 30 seconds of this podcast, every single member of the left would, would shoot us. Oh, they'd in hang the head. Us. Yeah, they'd execute. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm, like, I, I'm like, I don't know what planet you're living in. People pick and choose. But uh, oh, wait, PNC. What, what were we talking about? Music Factory. Uh, uh, John Boy. Oh, no, before the, John the, Boy. The baseball, you yeah, into the yeah, John before Boy. that. But he reads the lips, is oh, all lips. I'm saying. Lip yes, reading. Yes. Yeah, that's John Boy. That's a great gig. He's unbelievable. you got to see really? it. Really? It's unbelievable. He's so good, and you can watch the guy, and then he has all these other funny clips. Someone hits a home run, he points to the first one to stand up, and look at this fat lady who wasn't paying attention. It's classic. Wow. But again, it reels you right in. I'm watching John Boy for nine hours. He's huge, by the way. What kind of name is John? Is he a tal? I don't know John what Biondi his deal is. I but think he might be Italian. Something. E- either way, that's the beauty of YouTube. You get a John Boy. You get an animal attack. You get a twerking video. You get a stand-up from Norm Macdonald. You get a, a car race. You get a, a fire. It's everything. Yeah, it's it's got it all. And, uh, it's all pipes. You, I, I watch these all. I used to... I haven't done it in a while. You can watch like a full Game 5 86 World Series. There you go. And you got Vin Scully and Bob Costas on the sideline, and you're like, I'm just sitting here watching a full game. It's all. You can watch a Letterman clip. You can watch a fist fight in an alley. It's got it all. Backyard, wrestling, uh, midget toss. What's crazy is the amount of content. Chuck, pull up Wikipedia. Go to the Wikipedia page. Just type in YouTube, and it's in the first or second paragraph. It describes... The amount of content. It's like 500 really? hours a minute yeah. what gets does that uploaded. Mean? Oh, it gets uploaded. You think about how we're trying to compete, and you're like, I only got 7,000 views. You're competing mm-hmm. with 700 hours that came out that minute. Here it oh, is. Oh, my yeah, Lord. Well, this is a, as of May 2019. Yes, that's the stat. Videos are being uploaded at a rate of more than 500 hours of content per minute. But it's got to be way more by now. That's, four, that's, that's four years ago. Half of that is little Asian kids opening boxes. It's uh-huh. crazy. It's also funny that I was like, Look it up. And I was like, I guess I memorized it. Yeah. I nailed it. Ah, but that's go. wild. So let's assume now it's 700 hours per minute, even though it's probably more. Oh, yeah. It's way more. And with podcasting, because each one of those is an hour and a half or whatever, like your Rogans and all that shit, it's so much content. And then it's probably 700 hour specials per minute. And then you got to be like, okay, I did my special. Here it comes, everybody. Watch this. And yeah. everyone's like, but Full House is right next to it. Yeah. Full House, uh, The Heat. Uh, F1 racing, monster truck, tits. You can't compete. Brutal. Non-compete. And even when you're watching compete the special, Davidson. some people put it onto the TV or whatever, which is great. But when you're watching it, the whole time, I'm doing this. I'm looking to the side, because on the side, it says, what did Jerry Seinfeld think when he met Kramer? Or whatever. Uh, yeah, and you're yeah. like, wait, wait, let me pause this and go to this. And yes. then you open that, and then you look over, and it's like, was Duke Snyder gay? And you're like, was he? <laughs> I made that one. But <laughs> yeah, it's true. They, they really in, and they get you with the caption. The title is very intriguing, and you're like, well, I have to know this. And then you check the time. That's always the move. Yes. You go, interesting title. You, you got me by the balls. And then you go, 
Uh, three minutes and three seconds. I can spare that. Yeah. And now you're in the old rabbit hole, wormhole, butthole. Yeah, it's it's tough, but it, part of it's great because you're like, well, I'm getting things that I've always wanted to see. That's true. And I try to do a little uh, one for them, one for me. Mm. I'll do a, let me watch this skateboard clip, and then for them, I'll watch this, how do you do, uh, how do you cook minestrone, how do you yoga ties, and how do you clean your house? How do you Molina? That's a baseball player, but that oh. was a pretty good pull. How nice. Yeah, yeah. John Boy would have liked it. Yeah, yeah, lips, loose I lips, sink ships. hearing this a long time ago, if you see something in the suggested... And this is I, I stopped doing this, so that's why they got my algorithm. That's why they mm. reeled me in. If you see something you want to watch, don't click it. Search it, because that oh. fucks them up. Because if you click it, they're like, okay, we know them now. Yeah. But I suppose they could see the search, Yeah, the too. search is actually, to me, more uh, direct, because you just right. got to see it. Good point. Yeah, that's tough. But they, they, got, they say attention is the new oil. Mm. Jerry, because uh, you know, back in the day, oil. Hey, we got to get that oil. That's where all the money is, and now the money is in the medicine. All of attention. Yes. Instead of olive oil. Ugh. Attention to detail. But yeah, it's tough. <laughs> the, the clicks. It's all clicks. Yep. Then you get the uh, well. I got demonetized. I got shadow banned. I got uh, I got removed from the platform. There's all that shit too going on. Well, today I posted a clip of my old Comedy Central special, and it came up with red letters: denied copyright claim. And I like dove across the subway to get it off because yeah. I was afraid they're gonna take away my YouTube. Yo, you get those strikes. You get three, and you're out. I only got I already got one strike. Yeah. Can't you get rid of them? What happens? You, you, that, you probably didn't get a strike. I didn't for get that. a strike. They emailed no. me and said, no strike. Okay. Yeah. No yeah. strike. There you go. It was a ball. But yeah, I got one strike. So I'm, I'm nervous every time. What was your strike from? I can't remember. I think I uh, blatantly ripped something off or I said the N word, something. But I, I think I wrote, I said the N word and then I pushed for kids. And it like got all uh, fucked up. So you got you got to watch the kids there. Don't <laughs> yeah, say the n word to kids. One. The first time I po, I, I'm just learning them. Jesus, Ooh, that was a big slam. Sorry. <laughs> Grand slam breakfast over here. <laughs> oh, so sorry. I talked to the ladies at the front yesterday oh, when I God. came back, oh, and I was uh, like, I was like, hey, I'm sorry that we're we're noisy, and they're like, we don't care. We think it's hilarious. Oh, good. Well, we got oh. the we got the the front desk ladies on our side, but yeah, everyone you know, else hates us. You know what I'd be interested in doing, and I don't think it would be good, is to go to the break room while we're recording. I bet it's clear as day. Quiet, you mean? No, we, you can hear us. Oh, I'm saying. I think he's the only one that doesn't like us. Everyone else has been really well, nice. We're next door to him. Also, is he incapable of not slamming? I feel like every time he has to slam, he's, he's, the he's doing a purpose. Open. But maybe, maybe the windows open because sometimes when, That's like when true. I'm in my apartment, if the oh, windows yeah. open, you shut the door. It goes. Gah! Same here. Same and it here. sounds like I just divorced my wife. But yeah, really I just farted. But I'll tell you, this this weather out there and this uh, this time of year, I got every window open. My house is a perfect sixty. And then the sun's outside. There's nothing better than that little breeze coming. In. I got the cat up on the windowsill with a little, with a little whisker wiggle. You know, where the wind hits it. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. I missed the cat. What? No, I'm just kidding. Of That's course. That's what I thought. Boy, that cat stinks. Well, um, he's a big fat. It's better than Steve <laughs> Caitlin's cat. Sorry, that that cat is smooth and. <laughs> oh, it's I hate scary. A puss. Oh, it's terrifying. I want a little dander on that. That pussy. I like a bush, by the way. I like to come in the bush. Mm. I like to pull out and shoot it in the bush. Because then when you, when you, you they try to clean it, it's all goo and <laughs> stick, and it's hard to get out. Yes, I like that. the bushman. Yeah, I like a nice... <laughs> I don't know how they feel about it, because their hair turns into a... It's like when you put a brill cream in a kid. You can't worry about them. All right. It looks like your... Good your, advice. Your top of your head looks like my wife's, uh, you know, clam. Your, your wife's pubes? <laughs> right, let me come in your head and see if you like it. All right. I'm sure it might help the, the scalp. I bet it's good for it. Join the Patreon, folks. I'm going <laughs> to... Come in Mark's hair and see how long it takes to get it out. You come in it. I'm going to comb with it just just before it dries. See if I can get some uh, some some detail. What do you oh, call yeah. it? Product. You look like uh, Vinny uh, Paparazzi. Whatever. His no, name I'll is. be alfalfa. It'll be right up there. I'll be uh, something about Mary. Oh boy, we're having a great time here. I got. I'm a slouching down. This is our fourth episode of the week. This is it. We're on cruise control. It's June. Is this June 20th now? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my oh, yeah. God. Oh, the yeah. summer's half over. Wow. It's a <laughs> hot boy summer. Well, tell tell us about where you've been and where you travels. Where have I been? I don't even know where I've been. We're six months ahead. <laughs> I think you had a story. I have some stories. All I have right. stories. Look at this. It's all written over here. It's all pipes. Oh, how about this? Oh, what? please. I go to the steam room yesterday. You know, Equinox You downstairs. live in that steam room. Oh, You're going to dehydrate. You're going to turn into a raisin. I love the steam. I wish I had time to steam after this. but uh, Well, blow off some steam. I love steam. Steam uh, Suzu. <laughs> Steamboat Willie. <laughs> First cartoon. Yes, that's right. Is there something called a fart tune? That's got to be around. A fart tune. Where it's like, it's a, it's animated, but it's like, <laughs> it's like a double pun. Oh, a tune Instead and a tune. Instead of cartoon, it's fart I like tune. it. So it's a tune, it's a fart, and it's uh, animated. I'd tune in. I just made a show, I think. I think you got something there. I mean, uh, put it on YouTube, 500 hours and one. You ever think we should pitch a show? I mean, it might be something. I think we have. We have, but like now. That show wasn't bad, by the way. Soup and Suts? No, that was bad. The uh, the one we pitched with that lady. Remember, we went to the we went down to True TV or whatever the hell we went to in in Tribeca, and uh, me, you, and that uh, kind of cute little number wow. in a pantsuit, and we went into that. We sh- we pitched the whole thing about Sioux Falls. Remember, we go to Sioux Falls. Oh my god! We had a whole printout of a, of a one sheet and a treatment and all that. What Who is, was what is that? It was wow. a, we did a we had a travel show idea yes. where we take the podcast because the whole thing is stories. Holy! We shit. take the podcast to a town and walk around, meet the people, and then go on stage and tell the stories. I can't remember what wow. the, the, the the hook was, the premise, the format. But a blind uh, and stinker. I I, I don't yeah. even remember that. Who was the lady? She was that nice lady. She was like an exec. Uh, it was before. It was back when like white guys were still on TV and stuff, and uh, they, <laughs> not still on TV, but they wanted them, you know. And then we'd go into these rooms. They're like, ah, it's a little silly. And then they listened to four seconds of this, and it was like, then I queefed on a kid's lunch, and he ate it, and I jizzed in it, I and they were like, all right, that. that's a wrap. Who would we pitch to? True. We pitched to True. It was a lot of production companies we pitched to. I forget their name. Wow. But we went to about four of them, and it just... Soup and Suds was fun. We tried it. We tried to write, but it's we hard tried. to get together and type. Neither one of us is going to type. You need to get a partner who's willing to type. Type We just stared big. at each other going, ah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, type two mouth. But yeah, and then, then I, I would go, what about this? You go, ah, that's no good. Then you go, what about this? I'm like, that's not bad. Write it down. And then we go, all right. Let's go to lunch. I think part of it was I just wanted to drink. And yes. I kept saying, let's go to the bar because yes. it takes place in a bar. That's right. Soup and suds. Oh. The, well, whole, the whole show was about a bar that serves soup and booze. Well, I loved beer. <laughs> I was just going to ask. I loved soup beer. And you loved soup. But there was more to it. You, I was married or whatever. I had a girlfriend, a live in girlfriend, and your husband died or somebody died. Oh, it was died. a bit of an odd couple. You died, and then you came and lived with us. Yes. And so I had my girlfriend who hated you. Yes. And uh, she had grown so, on her. It's a documentary. So, um, <laughs> and I was, I, we were boozing together, so she hated us. And then we came up with an idea. We're like, we know how to make money. And we took our nest egg. Yes. And we opened a place called Soup and Suds. It's kind of like Always Sunny. Maybe yes. Well, you and I ran a business because you love soup. I ran. I loved bars. Right. And we couldn't decide. Right. So we combined them. And it's a fun name, soup and suds. Soup it's and got suds. Got to it. So you go there. You say, "Give me a bowl of chicken noodle and a Miller Highlight." High life. High life. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good living, if you ask me. So uh, that was the show, and uh, we never. I don't think page one has been written. No, we got about a paragraph, and we tried it again because I had a show idea for when I worked at Sears, Lost yes, Prevention. Yes, that's right. We've and been that, working at Sears. That one kind of came to fruition a little more. A little more. I wrote a script for that years ago, and I remember my manager was like, "Everyone's name starts with the J. That's no good." And oh, just took wow. that one note to be like. I'm not changing. Yeah, the fuck it. I mean, I'm I'm pitching a show now. I pitched it. Everyone turned it down. So I I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna make it. Fuck these queefs. And I'm I'm working on it. And I'm excited because it, I'm just gonna put it on YouTube uh, with the others. There's not a lot on there. That's the nice thing is you can just make these things. I had a pitched a thing with Chris Walsh. We made a thing, and then everyone, all the production companies, get a hold of it, and they keep changing and changing. Yeah. And then recently, I got a, a text. Maybe you got the same text from a. Uh, a who, a real someone high up, oh, a really? friend who said, hey, I got a production company. I did and, get that. And so I texted Chris Walsh and I said, hey, let's get the band back together, leave out all the queefers, 
and just pitch the original idea. So we're doing that. Oh, great. Who knows? That's one of the cool things about having some friends in high places. We both just ran, I think 30 of us probably got a text like, hey, man, I work at this production place or what i don't know what it is yeah. but i'm not gonna say too much but they're like if you have ideas send them in we're looking for ideas we have a ton of money left over or time or show space or whatever it is and so i set up a thing too yeah so you send some thing you go and this is the thing when you start making money on the road and doing well you go i don't need a show true so i'm just gonna pitch exactly what I want. If someone goes, what if it's like this? You go, eh, nope, get out of here. Yeah, Because yeah. I don't care. You feel like you're like, I'm taking my ball and going home or whatever. Right. And it's a much better position to be in. It's way better, but it does worry me because I don't want to shoot a show. I don't want to write a show. I don't want to pitch a show. But you start seeing guys like a Dana Gould, who when I started was like, I worshipped the guy. I thought he was so funny. He was in theaters doing this and that, TV shows, Simpsons, whatever. And then you see Dana Gould's back at the sack punchline, and you're mm-hmm. like, oh, this guy's got seven kids, he's divorced, he's got a new wife. You want to have a show by then. This is my fear. I'm, I'm having a son, and uh, uh, he's. He, I, got, I got, you know, I can't be just going, hey, I'm off to San Francisco Skid Marks. I'll be back in three uh, days yeah. and bring home 800 bucks. Right, right. And uh, that's, that's kind of the ebb and flow of this biz. So yeah. if you can get a nice... Nice show out there and just live off that residuals. Keep striking, writers. Uh, and get those residuals cooking because that mailbox money will keep you afloat. Yeah, so maybe we'll pitch a show, but, uh, you know, we got something. Uh, I'm just going to get a but, good groin stretch going. But yeah. anyways, I started a steam room story about yeah, six months ago. Yeah, well, we digress or live grass. Uh, we went to, uh, I went to the steam room down there, and <sighs> the way you get the steam going, you get, you get a little water and you splash it on the sensor. Oh, so it gets the steam, goes, this is good. It steams up. Otherwise, the, it's just sitting there. The gays do that with jizz. They exactly. just shoot it right on the sensor. Well, there's a lot of gays in the Equinox steam room. Exactly. So we go in there, and they have these little Dixie cups that are for... Um, little dicks. Uh, what do you call it? Mouthwash. Ah. But what some of the people do, they put some cold water in there. They take it in the steam room. They throw it on the sensor. So then they just take the Dixie cup and throw it on the fucking... Seat uh, on the steam room, which uh-huh. I saw once before. I go in yesterday, and there's just a bunch of empty trash cup Dixie cups. Oh, no, the Dixie chicks. And I look, and I go, who the fuck does that? That's weird. But I'm like, I'm not going to pick up someone else's trash. So I sit in the steam room. I use my water bottle, and I just go, Bloo. Ah, there you go. And uh, Eco-friendly. So then I'm in the steam room, and this other guy comes in who's like a jacked, you know, I don't know what he is. He's like probably 50. He looks like he's coked up. He's all ripped. Damn. Probably some, like, power broker or something. Yeah, power bottom. He comes in. He goes, what the fuck is this? Are you fucking kidding? This is the steam uh. room. This is like a place of relaxation. He goes, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and I'm in there like this, and you just want to make it clear you're not that. I'm like, I know, right? And yeah, he, smart. Because I'm like... This is crazy. And I'm like, this is a new trend I've been noticing. And he's like, well, it's fucking horrible. And he grabs it all up. He, like, literally kicks the door open. I'm not even kidding. Throws it. And, like, the door goes and shuts. And he's like, what is this? I can hear him. And I'm like, he's like uh, Vince Lombardi or something. He's terrified. Oh, wow, this sounds like my dad when he used to come home. He comes back in. And, I, again, I wanted to really separate myself. And I would go, yeah. I'm like, I, I've just noticed this. This is a new trend. I saw it the other day, too. And he goes, well, whoever's doing it doesn't fucking belong in this club. They don't belong. And it felt like it was a weird, wow. like, it felt like a weird, like, racial, I don't know who's doing it, but it felt like yeah, yeah. a 1950s diner. Right. Where you're like, you don't belong here. Oh, jeez. Read the sign. No Irish. And I agree, but I was like, oh, God. And then he sat down, and then he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, the steam comes. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's got some steam coming off his head, it sounds like. It was terrifying. Coming out of his ears. But I literally was like in the corner, like, oh, I'm so scared to move. I didn't want to leave. Because wow. like, sometimes, you know, if I leave, he's like, what are you opening the door for? That's you, hilarious. You, just, you, you can't move in there. It's such a tranquil place, too. It's so funny. This guy's like, ah, and then you just hear like, woo like the pan flute. And it was wild. And I had seen him working out because I was working out next to him. And, you know, I don't have any workout regimen so like i go i just go over and i'm like i'll do some curls that seemed like something i I think the real workout guys they 
they know. Yeah, they yeah. see. They're like, this guy's got nothing. Because I'm, I'm on the row machine for three. And oh, I get, yeah. It's like YouTube. Right. So I get distracted. I'm like, whoa, look at that. I can do some of these things. Right, right. Do a few of those. Then the bouncy ball. I'll sit on the bouncy oh, ball. Oh, yeah, that's for a fun. Yeah, I'll just pull some ropes. <laughs> you know, why not? I hang on stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing in there. I so do then, a lot of stretching just to kill time. Oh, yeah, big time. I'm always doing this where you grab... Yes, yes, I do the same. And I'll hang off the bar. Hang just, off the bar. Just hanging. I do this one, you know, just hold on to that thing. All day I'm doing that because I got the tit injury from uh, last month, whenever we tear. told that story. Um, but dinosaur, that was bad. Uh, well, don't bring it up. <laughs> we'll try to forget it. So, um, But anyways, I had seen him, so I think he knew me. He's like, that's uh, the goof that doesn't know how to work out. He probably left these cups. And, and then I sat there for a while, and then you get like, I, I did a bit about this, but you get competitive in the steam room. Like, I'm not leaving. Oh, I'm letting this yeah. guy leave. We were in there for 45 minutes. It was like a face-off. It was like wow. a chess match. You should have thrown a Dixie cup on the ground. <laughs> he would have left. It would be funny if I walked out and it fell out of my pocket. And oh, just run. man. Yeah, this guy might have a roid thing going on. That's what I was thinking. Roid rage. Polaroid. But that was something, and uh, I got a few other things here. Please, please. I haven't please. talked about the baseball game from, and from oh! Ari- Tempe, Arizona. Oh! Arizona Diamondbacks. We were on TV. Did you see? I, I heard. I saw the clip. I didn't see the TV channel. Well, this was six months ago. I mean, literally, the game was May 14th. We were there. Yikes. That's <laughs> over two months. It was five weeks ago. Well, hey, content's content. Yeah, it was five weeks ago. But, uh, I mean, it's so weird, too. Like, the whole world could be over right now. Like, we could be, there could be a nuclear holocaust. Jeez, you can only hope. It's enough already. Wouldn't it suck if the world ended while you were in Australia? Ah, oh. your wife dies, I die. Boy, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. So, what do you got there with the baseball? Now, are we talking pro, pro baseball, Woo! pro ball. I love it. it looked pretty uh, packed out in there too. No. Ah, um, damn it. All I hear is baseball's dead, baseball's dead, but I see it on TV. There's people in the seats. There's some people, yeah. It's not bad. Uh, okay, it's a beautiful game. It's a wonderful game, and it's like it takes like 80 minutes to play a game now. They changed all the rules. It's like coked up. It's crazy. Oh, is that good or bad? I think it's good. Okay. Yeah. But any jizz, so I'm going to Tempe, and I've been to 24 ballparks. There's only like hey. six ballparks I haven't been to. It's a very That's small list. Pretty good. Yeah, and so the uh, Diamondback Stadium is one of Chase Field. Mm. It used to all be called, like, Bill Sullivan's Ballpark. Yeah, yeah, Johnny B. Good's uh, Auto Park. <laughs> now it's, yeah, Bank of America Dome or whatever. Right, right, Nokia. So uh, they're playing Sunday afternoon. Before that, it's all night games. They play Sunday afternoon. The show's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I said, I'm going to stay an extra day. Okay. Hit the ballpark. Get all these ballparks crossed out. I love it. I love a ballpark. So I book a red-eye flight from Phoenix to New York Sunday night aye, aye, aye. into Monday morning, which is always rough. Always. And I got Luke Monas opening for me. Good hang. Great hang. Great comic. Great guy. So I said, hey, if you're interested, I'm sticking around Sunday for the ball game. If you want to go, I'll get you a ticket. We'll go hang out. And he lives in the uh, Los Angeles. He's in L.A., which is about a 12-minute flight. Exactly. So he goes, that sounds great. He books a 6 p.m. flight. Oh, so he's home at 7 o'clock. Oh, living the dream there, Moni. That's a nice, nice day. So he goes, great. So Sunday comes, you finish the show. There's nothing better than finishing a weekend of shows, especially when they sell well. You yes. sell your shirts. You know, you make a nice penny. Agree, but the uh, the problem is when the I had this in Toronto, the last show was bad. Yeah, and that'll put a real stink in your sink. But to me, even a bad show, you still feel like I did something. Yes, and it's yes, done. And you have the next day off, and you're like, whoo. That is nice. You come back and you got the cash and you're like, you feel good and the, and then not not just the cash but the you feel like you you met a lot of people. You do a meet yes. and greet. Everyone comes. And this is what's great about comedy. It's an event. As annoying as it is, so often when people come up and they go, ah, I thought your dick was a little small. I yeah. think your movie stinks. Yeah. Your mother didn't raise you right. Yeah. Mostly, it's, it's people saying. That was great. We love sure, you. You're hilarious. Sure. There's very few jobs that when you finish. A line of people line up around the corner to tell you you're fantastic. It's a great point. Roofing doesn't have that. You don't get off the roof and they go, here's a cup of iced tea. You killed it. <laughs> no, they go, what? You charged me nine grand? You come, Guzzler? Right. So grateful for that. Grateful for all the fans that come by and say nice things. And very mm-hmm. grateful for the Patreon folks. Yeah. So uh, we finished the show. You finished the weekend. Great weekend. And you have the extra day with nothing to do. So we have breakfast. I love a comedy oh, breakfast, especially when you got the you got no time constraint. You can just really sit in it. So nice. 
So we get breakfast, we walk around, we have coffee, we're laughing our asses off, we're gossiping. What about when that guy said that? What about when that happened? How about that audience member? How hot was she? Oh, yeah. Great time. Head over to the ballpark, and I've got us nice seats up the left field line, front row. Woo! Way! Well, that's a pretty penny. You can lean. Well, it's Arizona, so it's I like see. 50 bucks, which is not crazy. Okay, good. That's two T-shirts. So, yeah, exactly. So you go over there, and uh, we got. The, it's like that Costanza. You, you're walking down the aisle. You're like, we'll just keep going. Front oh, row. nice. Which feels nice, but between every inning... 75 kids show up and line up to try to get a ball. Ah, these fucking Make-A-Wish kids with their cancer. And you feel awkward. You're just sitting there, and it's just a bunch of kids' asses in front of you. Well, that's not so bad. <laughs> you got to look around. You don't want to, you know, you got to look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't want to make eye contact with a butthole. No. Hole. Yes. Great seats, exciting. Game moves fast. We get snacks. We have hot dogs. We're laughing. I did a little play-by-play. You can check it out on YouTube. That was fun. I filmed with my phone. It's just exciting. People yes. seem to enjoy it. We're having a million laughs. It goes into the ninth inning. By the way, I buy a 50-50. Uh-huh. 50-50 the raffle. raffle. Oh, the yeah. raffle. Okay. 20 bucks, you get 80 numbers, and you watch it tick up, and it gets up to like $65,000. Oh, so you're like, oh, no, God. it was even higher. It was like 70000 So you're like, someone's going to win thirty five grand. Wow. And I got 80 numbers. I'm like, imagine if I win 35000 Oh, my Lord. I tell Luke, I'm like, I will give you $10,000. Whoa. If don't I win thirty five, I'm giving you 10000 bucks. How do you like that? Don't bring it in a suitcase. So I go, uh, he goes, okay, that's great. You know, he's a Jew. He lights up. Like uh, a, like yeah. Is a, he a Jew? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. This changes everything. Tall, handsome Jew. I think he's half. All right, all right. I'll allow it. Just a good half. <laughs> so we're down the line. 1-1 one, game. It's exciting. And I go, I, I go to him. I turn to him. I go, I got to tell you, I hope they win the last inning here because uh, I don't want extra innings. It's enough already with this. I you see. want to see the ballpark. It's a long day. Right, right. Yeah, it's a long slog. Living in Reseda. So we're down the line here, and uh, a guy gets on base. He steals second. We're right down the left field line. Ninth inning, two outs. Guy hits a line drive, fair ball, right down past it. It's like three inches in front of us. Oh, I go, oh my, my God. Lord. I left out this part. I'm like, he's going to hit a walk-off right here. Uh, Next, I swear to God, I'm this guy. Hold hits it. this guy. I go, next pitch. This game's over. I go, pack your stuff up. Grab your water because yeah. this pitch is ending it. Swear to God, ask Monas, that pitch. Line drive down the left field line, fair ball wow. down in the corner. Now where it's right here, like a dream come true. Whoa. You have the front row seat. I can lean. I'm leaning right out on the field. The ball goes soaring back. I can hear it going. Oh my lord! And then the left fielder he grabs the ball, and I was trying to distract him. I did the old. Oh, that's lunch. And then Luke is waving. He's facing this way, waving the runner around. Oh, I love the wave. And when he turns, he goes, we got to be on TV. This is crazy. It's right in front of us. Yeah. So I look it up on the app afterwards. There we are, two oh, tall drinks of AIDS. Oh, that's a credit. He's waving. I'm doing this. I look like a spazoid. It's on Sports Center. the whole oh, thing. Oh, my God. Top 10 after a lesbian throws a ball. It's wild. We walk it off. Arizona wins. I'm going, nice throw, you fucking pussy, you yeah. piece of shit. <laughs> Give it to him. Fuck these queefs. That's fun. The kids go crazy. I go, let's get out of here. Then we walk up the aisle. Everyone's leaving, and I see 50-50. I forgot. Oh, the ref. I got 80 numbers. Oh, what, what's the number? A dollar? It's 20 bucks gets you 80. I don't oh, know. It's okay. one of those, like 10 gets you 40, but or 10 gets you 30. But 20 is 80. It's yeah. a deal. If you get 100, you get whatever. Five thousand, you get You win or something. I don't know. So I go, let's go check it out. So there's a little 50-50 station. And I go, let's see if we won. So I'm looking at the numbers, and it's one of these that fucks you. Isn't this the worst? Mm. You get like 12 numbers, and the first two numbers are 3-9, and then their number, the winning number is 3-5. Ah, the T's. So you don't even get to go like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah." yeah, It's just literally the first number is like, oh. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. So then I go, ah, I didn't win. And then we look over, and you just hear like, "Oh, mamacita, scoop a boo, scoop a doo doo doo." Oh, that's bad. Should we cut <laughs> that, that Spanish? That was Spanish. Oh, Spanish. Oh, okay. If that it was, was Indian, good. that would be bad. Yeah, you're fine. She's like, "Nosotros, uh, cómo estás?" Yes, yes. Because and the guy casa. goes, the guy goes, "See, sí, see," sí, and he takes this big giant check and hands it to this woman. 
It's like a little Mexican woman Get with her son. Get the like, abuela. He's just like staring. Yeah, she might have been a grandma or a mother or whatever. Oh, my Lord. Here's the big fat check. And I got to tell you, I've never been. Luke goes, she won. It's her. Oh, mamacita. She turns around 35,800 pesos. Vaya con Dios. <laughs> And Luke goes, she, that's her. Oh, she won. Wow. Now, we're still buzzing from the walk-off and the being, being on TV. And I'm like, you won? And she's like, oh, see, si, see. Si. She oh, looks all nervous with the fat incredible. check. Good for her. And we go, oh, my God. And we start going, she won. Oh, these immigrants are taking our raffles. She's got a little boy tied to her back. And, uh, and she's, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's got a big <laughs> basket on her head. <laughs> And I, I've never been so happy to lose something because yes. I would have felt bad if I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you wow. know, I'm not Richie Rich over here, but I'm doing okay. She got the whole enchilada. So she just doubled her uh, income, and she's just going, "Oh my God, thank you, gracias." Oh, good for her. Wow, that'll help out the Adobe. We stood and cheered. I think I got photos somewhere. I'm clapping and we're high fiving. We go, "All right." I gave a fist bump to the kid. I blew it up. He didn't know what was going on, <laughs> but uh, she won thirty five thousand. Big ones. Wow. Well, that'll be interesting with the uh, the taxes later when they uh, they find out they're illegals. But either way, for the moment, that's great. Oh, she probably walked away with seventy four hundred bucks. But still, yeah, it was fun to see. I've never I've never bumped into the winner. I've never been so close to someone that like won a jackpot. That is wild. Yeah, you never get to see that. And you get to see the light on their face and good times. Out. Does she have to give the check to a little boy? I think. Let me see. I think I got photos of this. Uh, oh, dame. now we're talking. I'm sure she's all over the news as well. Winning a purse like like that oh here she is right here oh wow look at this maybe we'll plug it in uh, plug really it in send it to the well, chuckster look at that boy whoa huh that is beautiful Thirty-five thousand seven hundred eighty-four bucks i mean look at this kid good for consuela no more cleaning the la quinta inn she's out there jerry look at this guy look how happy he is everyone was so happy for her oh and, uh, that's great can we get a shot of this chuck can yeah, we, yeah. Why don't you Send text it to him? It's text not going to work on there. But well, hey, that is a beauty. Good for her. Congratulations there, uh, Mama. I'll uh, text it over. Her name Madre. was Jen or Jean or Georgia saying cut it. I don't know. Mm, that's a long name. But either way, good for her. Congratulations there, Georgia saying cut it. And uh, Gee, we're rooting for you. I don't know if we can put her face on there, though. That's probably no good. That'd be a little blur out the put face. Put a baseball over the faces. But the kid's face is adorable. He's a cute kid. And uh, give me a call there, kid. But Maybe we shouldn't put the faces in. She should get on the Patreon now that you got a couple of cash uh, laying around there. Why not? And here's us. You can see us oh, there. That's, that's fun. Great. How fun is that? Wow. That is Right in the action. Here's the TV broadcast. We'll put this on. Here, here it is. Right this down is the left big. field line. Wow. Here it comes. He's right in front of us. Here we go. There Hold we on. are. Hold on. Oh, wait, I missed it. I got a glare here. Oh, Bad you got glare. glare. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got the black the hat glare and the up gray there. shirt, and I'm doing the traveling violation. Okay. There we go. You'll see me for a second. There's my arm. All Here right. I come. See it? Oh, I see it. I see the roll. Oh, that's He's doing fun. the roll. The windmill. Luke's the traveling. This. Oh, that's good yeah. stuff. Boy, a make a wish. Good fun. What a thrill. Hell that way, yeah. Gene. Yeah, suck it, little kids. You couldn't do it. No Gene. No money. Uh, uh, no ticky, no laundry. The photo's so great, but it, it feels weird. Wait, can you put a photo? I don't people? think it's a big deal. She, Maybe not. Where, where was she? Like, where was she standing in public? In Phoenix, in public. Yeah, and I'm yeah. sure she's That's on the fine. TV out there because she won. You, yeah. you, you announced yeah, the winner. Maybe. You're fine. All right. I if it's mind. in public, you're good. You can cover the face, though. It doesn't doesn't hurt the photo. The boy's so sweet, though. His face. He's like this. Yeah. He has no idea. And it's he's hard got, when you're a boy. He's got the jersey on. Because uh, Kids have no real concept of money, I think. You're like, we just went $35,000. He's like, okay, whatever. Yeah, he's like, I got to carry this thing? <laughs> it's bigger than me. That sucks. The big check is awkward. I like the big check. I feel like it's a throwback, and we all know it's silly, but it's it's cartoonish. It's, it's fun. It's fun, but I've also just be like, can you just slip that in my account, and I'll just keep it moving? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're out there with the phone trying to do the uh, deposit, you know, <laughs> you're trying to hover over it, and it's like a uh, darker background. The best check thing, we talk about it all the time, is DePaulo. We used to work bananas, and their sign was like, their whatever logo was literally a big giant banana with sunglasses on. And say, Yeah, people always go, Why are you so angry? He goes, I don't know, because Monday morning I got to walk into a bank and cash a check that has a banana wearing sunglasses on it. <laughs> <laughs> they go, You want this in cash or you want it in rubles? Which, yeah. Uh, very funny. <laughs> yeah, that bananas club, it's a, it's a classic club out of Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. Everybody went through there Bill Maher, Seinfeld, Bill Hicks, you name it. But they got all the Polaroids up on the wall, and every single one of them is holding up a banana. 
Diana going, what are we doing? Yeah. You know, it's, it's like these brilliant minds and they got to stand next to a blow up ape. We have no bananas. I think it's still out there. Oh, Maybe. it's there. They I think uh, Helium bought it. Oh, yeah. Grossman's got that thing. Yeah. I don't know if that's helping him. But either way, it's a staple. Hey, folks. Tuesdays and Stories is brought to you by Electric, my favorite e-bike. Damn it. Father's Day just passed, and you probably forgot. So give your dad the gift of peace and quiet, and get him out of the house from all that yapping, and let him cruise around on a new electric e-bike. From quick store trips to outdoor adventures, electric e-bikes is the bike of the future that anyone can ride. Made for the modern man, electric bikes reach up to 28 miles an hour. With the twist of a throttle, includes a powerful removable battery, seven speed gearing, and five levels of pedal assist to power your ride. With models financed as low as 73 per month, your ride won't even cost you a fortune. I just got one, it's super sexy. Can't wait to get out and ride it. I just put it together. It's in the lobby. The super is mad at me. Gonna take it out for a spin in this summer day in Manhattan. Can't wait. Gonna drive from spot to spot. Where will you take yours? Customize your electric bike by adding cargo, baskets, or bags, comfort upgrades, and even passenger accessories. Electric bikes are foldable and ship-free, fully assembled. Skip the played out gifts this Father's Day and give the gift of adventure with Electric E-Bikes. Visit electricebikes.com to learn more and explore the epic models Electric has to offer. That's L-E-C-T-R-I-C-E-Bikes.com. Get one today! Wait. Hey, hey folks, Tuesday Stories brought to you by Better Help. The show is sponsored by BetterHelp. What's your number one priority? Well, you got a lot on your plate, and it can be easy to forget to prioritize yourself and your wellness. Therapy can help give you the tools to balance your life and service your needs. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. We love therapy. We go all the time. Alan, he's a godsend. I do hate going down there, though, sometimes. You got to get up, get on the subway, get to the office, wait in the waiting room. You see another comedian. It's awkward. Boy, it'd be nice if I could do this from the comfort of my own living room. And, well, BetterHelp is here for that. BetterHelp is flexible and entirely online, so you can easily fit therapy in your schedule. Set your appointments around what's best for you. Since it's all online, you can do it anywhere, whether that's the office, couch, or even your bed. Sometimes you're crying. You can't get up. To get started, fill out a quick survey and get matched with your licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for free. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Tuesdays to get 10% off. Hey, that's on your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Tuesdays. BetterHelp dot com slash Tuesdays. Get on it. Oh, boy, folks. It's underwear time. Sheath underwear time you know them we love them sheath underwear is the two pouch underwear system that's one pouch for your dick and one pouch for your balls one tuck Mm -hmm. one no tuck Mm -hmm. it keeps them separated so you'll feel nice and dry no matter how hot it gets out there founder robert Patton, bobby is not only a u.s army soldier who came up with the sheath during his second tour in iraq he's also a tuesday just like you yeah uh, looking forward to seeing him at skank fest i gotta assume he'll be there hell yeah don't sit in the front row He's the nicest guy ever. He comes. He's a veteran. He brings us underwear. He gives us underwear. He sends us more underwear. He comes to the shows. He laughs. He's a serious podcast fan. You know that. You love that. You should support him. So when you support Sheath, you support a comedy nerd who just wants to support your balls. Woo! Here's my personal endorsement. I mean, I already did it, but I'll do it again. I'm wearing it right now. What else can I tell you? He's wearing it. I'm wearing it. My wife wears it. It's the best. The best. It's exclusively what we wear. Don't you want to wear what the what they wear in the big leagues? Yes, the majors. Go to sheathunderwear.com and use code TUESDAYS to get 20% off your first order. That's one-fifth. Wow. Plus, Sheath Underwear's 100% money-back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code TUESDAYS. Support these guys. They support you. You support them. That's how it goes around. Robert, we appreciate you. Thanks for your service. Praise Allah. Let me see. I might have one other thing in here. Ooh, lay it on me, Fatty. Oh, this was pretty fun. Now we're talking. This was something. 
We got we, something. We walked out. You know me. I love a stadium. So Sun Devil Stadium is over there in Tempe, uh-huh. we, which we probably walked to, too, when we were there. I'm sure we did. The old SD stay. I think we walked by there. But uh, it was wide open. We walked right onto the field. Oh, come on. Swear to God. 50-yard line, middle of the field. And then I looked it up after. They shot scenes of Raising Arizona there at the mm. end, the football scene. Right, right. They shot, uh, what the f- Fuck, Raising Arizona and uh, Face Off. Something else. No. Con Air. I'll think of Adaptation. Kind of written down here. I think uh, I had it written down. Leaving Las Vegas. Peggy uh, Sue got married. I don't know. Raising Arizona, but also there was a Super Bowl there, 96. Oh. So we were like on the field at a place where the Super Bowl took place, Steelers Cowboys. So that was something. That's great. I, I When I was in Tejas, we did the uh, the Cowboys Stadium. Oh, wow. And you could take a little tour, which the tour is a bummer because you got to wait and listen to some story about Kraft and Emmett Smith or whatever the hell, and it's all boring. And then you finally go to that field, and you're like, whoa, it's almost cathedral-like. Yeah. You know, it's this big uh, coliseum-like event. And then we got to go in the locker room. Wow. Do a little locker room talk. But we got to go in the cheerleader's locker room, and that was the saddest part. Because you're like, at first, like, hey, cheerleaders, all right, tits, pussy, you know, pom-poms. But they told us what they make. It is worse than Chuck. That's like spot pay. (laughs) Oh, Everyone makes less than Chuck. Are you yeah, kidding? That's true. That's true. Guy, he came in a limo today. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how much this man makes. Ooh, that Abuela makes uh, less than Chuck. Chuck makes more than I do off this podcast. It's that's crazy. That's true, yeah. So get on the Patreon, folks. Yeah. Help out Chuck. But, um, yeah, he's that's like, that. He's like Gene. He's leaving with a big giant. Yeah, exactly. Every Mexican show. Boy. It must be nice. El Chico. He's got a little gay guy in the corner with glasses. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, the uh, the cheerleaders probably make pennies, scraps. They they hope they get knocked up by uh, Deion Sanders is the best case in air. No, they make all their money from events. They have to yes, go and um, yes, the events. They show up and they go, "Hey, I'm a, a cowgirl." Right, right, yeehaw! Um, America's team, they call it AT and T Stadium. Oh, right. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, I think I didn't listen to the Might tour. Might have changed. Oops. Yeah, but stadiums are fun. It's fun because we're is that yours. What? That jacket? That's me. Oh, I keep throwing shit all over. Oh, thanks. That's what that is. (laughs) It's got all these splats and splains on it. Stains. Thanks a lot. I got to wear that. But, uh, yeah, the stadium is fun because it's, you know, these these athletes, you forget they're performers. You know, they're they're there for entertainment, Mm -hmm. and as are we. Yeah. You know, like when I uh, did the... What's that club in Appleton? Skyline. Skyline. Mm, weird, weird name for a club because they don't have much of a skyline. But I did Skyline. I got to show my niece the comedy club, and I let her walk on stage, which is just a two-foot riser with shitty carpet and jizz on it. And she's like, whoa, I'm up here. You know, right. they, they hold the microphone. They go, whoa. And we've all seen at the end of the comedy cellar, there's always that asshole who has to go up there and do a selfie. Uh-huh. And, you know, I'm on the stage, the actual stage. Like, that's eh, it's just a, a little riser. Yeah. Paul riser. But to us, it's... It's the Mecca. It's, you know, yeah. To them, I mean, or whatever. I don't know. Life's a stage. Stage nine. All I'm the world's dying. a stage. Yeah. <laughs> you know that joke I've told you a million times. Please. Ken Reed up in Boston. I don't know Reed. He has a joke, a uh, great comic. He's been around forever. He's wonderful. He says, uh, uh, <laughs> it was an uh, Elvis song. He said, and, uh, are you lonesome tonight? I think he says, you know, someone once said all the world's a stage. He goes, yeah, it was Shakespeare, you fucking fat hick. Oh, wow. A funny joke. Fat hick. Taking yeah. down the king. <laughs> Ouchie, wouchie. Who's this guy? Is this kind of meanie? And it's funny to say, you know, somebody once said yeah, this. Yeah. You're like, well, we know who. It was right, Shakespeare. right. He's very popular. Right. Elvis funny was joke. A kook. Yeah. It's funny to call Elvis a fat hick, also. That's true. He's from Tennessee. Is that right? I believe. Oh, yeah. That's where his house. But wasn't he originally from like, maybe Alabama. Mississippi? Oh, Alabama. Maybe, maybe Mississippi, actually. I think Mississippi. I think you're right. And Tupelo. Then he went to Graceland. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He, who ends in Memphis? That's a weird place to. To plant your your steaks. Well, I guess it's like central. I mean, I think about that all the it's time. Music. Those you can just drive around and. Yeah, I guess. And there's a lot of BB you know, King and Beale Street and Sun Studios, I guess. But I don't know. It's an interesting spot. Like yeah. Nate lives in Nashville, but I think he grew up there. He sure did. Yeah, but nobody wants to live in Mississippi. And I'll be there in August. M I S S I S S I P P I. 
There you go. Good river, too. What has four eyes and can't see? The Mississippi. There you go, folks. Well, we are really scraping the bottom here. Uh, well, we got to yeah. do another oh, 15 minutes here oh, if you got anything. Any topics? You want to throw some stuff that. out there? Well, have you been to Australia? No, I was going, Uh-oh. and then COVID. They fucked oh, me. Remember, I was going to go. I was going to miss my whole birthday. I was going to be in the air the whole time. Oh, yeah. The entire birthday. Australia, and then they never called me back. I'm, I'm, I'm bittersweet on it. Yeah. Because it's three and a half weeks, whatever the hell it is, and uh, you lose yourself out there. Because we went to London, the UK, the UK. Uh, yeah, the, the Brits, Great Britain. <laughs> but thank you for the jacket again. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we went to London. What was that, two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. Well, I think you were there slightly less. I was there for 11 days. You were there for 10 or something like uh, that. Oh, yeah, but that that was a nice, cushy, you get in, you, you find your bearings, you see the sights, then you get out. This is like... Yeah, you live there. I'm living there, and I'm jumping around, Jerry. It's like you start in Sydney, you do two shows, then you fly to Brisbane, and you forget these are two, three-hour flights. Then you right. land there, then you go to Auckland, and then you land there, and then you go here, and you're here, here. So it's, it's going to be a whirlwind. What, uh, is your lady coming down? She's going to come for the first leg. Oh, nice, the first leg. That's first good. First leg, yeah, yeah. Nest egg, first leg. Uh, now, what's Jimmy better? legs. The first leg or the second leg? Because sometimes you're, like, you're, you're so lonely. Uh, then you have someone come in, you're like, you get a boost, and you can show them around. Yeah, I'm kind of glad she's coming the first leg, because I think I'm going to be road hard and put away wet. By the end, I'm going to be a, a shell of a man. So I think I'll, I just, I just want to be alone. Right. Plus, you can get laid your last day now. Ah, nice. good point. Uh. There you go. <laughs> y- young blood. I'll fuck him. Is he coming? He's coming. Wow. He asked. He was like, can I open? I was like, sure. I got a friend out there now. This helps. Wow. AYB. So he's there the whole time. Whole time. Wow. Are you going to hate each other by the end oh, of the Oh, no question. But he said he's bringing a friend. I was like, yeah, bring a friend so when I get sick of you, you can blow him. I hope they have casinos in Australia. <laughs> casinos and whiskey. I miss Youngblood. He's a good hang. Good hang, good egg, cool guy. Boy, that wedding and bachelor party, that was a fun one, too. Man, did we live it up. If it all goes away tomorrow, we had that. Yeah, well, with my son coming, I can never go again. Ah, uh, you're done. It's all over. Dunzo. Well, some of the people there had kids, I think. Uh, Youngblood. My parents. Bert. Uh, oh, Bert, yeah, he was at The Bachelor. Who else had kids? Uh, Peter? No, he didn't come. He didn't show because a kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Why didn't your wife come? <laughs> uh, yeah, all well, right. I'll well, get a sitter. He didn't want to come. He doesn't like to do things, though. Keep I don't, in mind, I, Peter's yeah, yeah. not a do things He's guy. not a do. He likes the gym, he likes his weed, and he likes stand up. That's yeah. it. Yeah, so, you not know. Not his wife. But, yeah, good times. Ah, he likes uh, his lady Cut. there. <laughs> Cut and print. All right, folks. Just throw that over there when you're dumb. Oh, uh, yeah. Apparently, that's the uh, receptacle for garbage. But, yeah, I'm excited about it, but I- I'm nervous about being gone. Then you have that whole, I have that, you know, people have FOMO. I have HOMO, or I'm nervous everybody will think I'm gay when I'm gone. Right. You know, I just think, uh, I don't think I'm missing everything, but I do think they're forgetting about me. Right, right, of course. Which is silly, because you could leave for a year, and then you go back to the cellar, and they're like, I, am I for you first? You know, that's that's pretty much how it is. No one goes, where the hell you been? Well, what's going to be weird is that well, next time we record, it'll, we'll be rusty and dusty. Oh, we're going to be, be rusty. <laughs> that's pretty good. It's a radio show. Rusty and dusty in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> rusty. So, uh, yeah, we'll be rusty, but we'll have stories galories. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm going to have down under stuff. I'm going to fight with an aboriginal. I'm going to meet uh, Paul Hogan. Uh, I'm going to eat a crocodile hunter. I'm going to shit on his grave. I'll be all over. I can't wait. Sarah's got some family down there. Maybe we'll send them over there. Send them all. I'll get them a ticket or two. Okay. Boy, she's a global coos. I mean, she's uh, African-American. She's living in Texas. She's living in New York. She's having a kid. And then she's got family in the great Australia. And when was she? Her mother's from the U- England. Wow. There you go. So, I, well, I think they had, they were all in South Africa, and some went to Australia, and some went to uh, U.S. Texas. Uh, so Texas. You, you get out. They had to get out when the getting was good, I guess. Well, the uh, Cape Town was that where she uh, was? What do you call it? Accumulated. I think. Estimated? Johannesburg or the other one. There's a few. There's, there's, those are the big ones. Cape and Johannesburg. Yeah. Call. Like, that's fun. What is the? What do you call that? Consummated. 
Consummated. Well, yeah. you're, you're born there. That's where you were uh, conceived. Conceived. There yes. you go. Consummate is the relationship, the marriage. You consummate, right? I think that's fucking. Yes. Yes. And conceive is just fucking, too. Well, not in our case. Ours was lab rat. We just had tubes. Oh, I thought you did it. Well, I jerked off in a thing, and then they threw it in her ass. Oh, I thought you you got one by the goalie on accident. Oh, I, that was Rosebud. I did that. No, I did that a few times, and then the thing died in the vine. So this one was all test tubes and needles wow. and pins, and they just batch them up. Technology, folks. Can we keep the cup? Good question. Good <laughs> put, question, put Aguado. I'll, I'll get you a cup. I can, I can jerk off in other cups. Please, jerk off in a cup, and I want to smell it, taste it, and eat it. Loving cup. What's happening? Loving spoonful. Oh, I thought you were uh, about to play us something. Stanley I Cup. Ner- I was nervous. <laughs> All right. You wear a cup, you jizz in a cup. Stanley Cup. That's probably over by now. <laughs> I think the world's over at this point. <laughs> Who knows what's going on? What do we got here? We got to fill this hour. We got, we got 10 s- strong minutes left. Oh, wow. Doing? That was only five with all that? <laughs> Jesus, hey, Jadel. We got to do 10 men's minimum. Well, I did a... Uh, Eight men's, maybe. I did Gillis's pod, and they go, how much time left? And the guy goes, 10 minutes. He goes, you got a story? And I was like, oh, okay. I start talking. And he goes, how much time? Four. All right. And then they <laughs> literally go, you're done. And he goes, cut it. And they play video games. I was like, Jesus Christ. I, 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 we have a little more professionality to that. Uh, wow. All right. Well, uh... So I don't feel so bad, but... That pot, it's so funny how everyone, you get complaints about your pot, you're like, your wallpaper's coming down, the noise is too big, and then I see a clip from their podcast, and the camera's 300 feet away, Shane's not even there, it's They're fuzzy. sitting like this. Yeah. So, you know, they're in a bathrobe, uh, they're eating a half a turkey sandwich, no one gives a shit, but they get crazy views. I know, it's all me, I stink, everyone hates me, I'm good. No, great. maybe we're trying too hard, maybe, you know, because you, you watch these yeah. uh, come towns, they're, they're in a basement, uh, there's a rat running by, there's a truck going by, it's... it's it's very. Um, Those are the outliers. But though. LA, though. Okay. LA, yeah. they're oh, in suits. Oh, that's the other yeah. side. Of leather it. chairs that move. It yeah. looks like remote control. They have knee. I mean, this is horse shit, dog shit. Yeah, they Look all have. A, we got shit down here. We got some stuff. We got garbage. But they all <laughs> we gotta have, hang this up. We gotta come in here. And <laughs> yeah, hang we gotta hang that up. Well, all it is one thumb tackle. Get that cooking. That. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is the most beautiful thing. Whoever made this, <laughs> apology. I mean, I, I'm so sorry. McAllister, Why does this, re- this really grabbed your ass? What is Look this? Look at this. It's... <laughs> <laughs> what is it about this wooden circle that really tickles your taste? Are you kidding? Look how I mean, perfect. I like it, but it's got a Look special place perfect. in your asshole. Something about you this thing. You can't find craftsmanship like this around <laughs> the corner. That's true. Who made that? I Jesus. Mean, <laughs> That's pretty nice. You Look love at the that type clock. Of typography. That he did is the very stuff nice. And the tough, and it's wood. It, it doesn't work at all. Oh, but it doesn't. <laughs> no, it's got oh, batteries. It's in. got batteries. I mean, it's probably dead. It's been sitting there for nine years. What what movie is this? Chuck can't guess. This damn thing doesn't work at all. Oh yeah. Come that, on. Is that Jaws? <laughs> it means this. Damn thing doesn't work oh, at all. Oh, yeah. He takes the suction things off his yeah. head. Yeah, Lloyd. Christopher. Oh, geez. Back to the few. That's it. But uh, this is awesome. Ass Man is great. Yeah. Oh, then there's this thing. This got sent to you. You didn't give a shit. I like it. I like it. But now I got to frame it. It's, it's, I got to post it. This wallpaper makes it really tough for me to know where to hear, hand think things. Let's Hang anything. Let's just rip it down. Take no, it down. no. I we don't need think we it. Can. That's all we have. But you know what it is? It's the lasting love and impression of the. Great producer of all time. <laughs> number one. Number one with a bullet. Yeah. The man who made the show what it is. Oh. Shelby, we love you. The producer, <laughs> the heart of the show, the soul of the ship. Chuck is livid. Remember those good old days? The Patreon was rocking and rolling oh, back when oh, yeah. yeah, we were killing it. When, Everything came out Sean on was time. Here. He was always laughing and smiling and bringing us snacks. Yeah. <laughs> one, one thing I'll say about Shelby was uh, he would, uh, man, would he, you know, you go, hey, uh, I'm getting a million tweets. It's Tuesday morning. The episode's not up. He's like, oh, right, right, right. Let me, let me push send. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. It's Tuesday morning. 
But a sweet guy, he always had a great disposition, smile ear to ear. No, he's a good man, and uh, I love him. And we we love him. We appreciate him. But yeah, it was tough. Every once in a while, too, you go to his Twitter feed. And he was just tweeting at Nick DiPaolo, <laughs> going, "You piece of shit, <laughs> Louis C.K. is a piece of shit." And then I have to be like, "Are you okay? You, you know, like I, us? I open for both of them, <laughs> you, you know, care for us." Yeah, yeah. But he was are... always fine with us, which I respect Shelby for, because I think he really hated the people we were uh, rubbing elbows with. Yeah, yeah. So well. Well, you know, we pander to the left, so I have DePaulo at my house and giving speeches at my wedding because sure. I want the left to like me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and so he hated them, but he, he put it all aside to really serve the show. Yeah, kung fu pander. And uh, it was nice. So uh, Shelby, if you ever want to come back, we we got to Chuck. He's the one that shoved you out and kicked yeah. you to the curb. We got a spot open for you anytime. <laughs> it's an open door, Paul. <laughs> Come on by. But, uh, yeah, Shelby, boy, he was he was something. Yeah, I don't think I, I ever made him laugh one single time. You got him a couple times. Maybe. I Two, got a, maybe. I got a smirk. Two. A, a tee-hee, not even a ha. You when, couldn't get an audible. If you got a laugh from Shelby, I mean, you you clip it and send it to The oh, Tonight Show. Oh, man, send it to Guinness Book. <laughs> <laughs> you get a new record, because that was not easy. Send that shit to National Geograph. Oh, my God. I really hurt my pec. I mean, it's bad. I feel like I'm dying. You know what we should do, maybe, uh, Patreon, get a couple of, maybe a couple massage. Oh, Me that's and you nice. will hold hands. We'll, we'll, we'll be on a, two separate benches, and we'll get two Korean whores in there, and they'll really work it out. Get the elbow grease in there, spit on our back, the, the bamboo <laughs> music, the trinkle fountain, the Let, whole thing. Let's do you, me, and Shelby, Chuck Films. <laughs> there we go. We got to... <laughs> <laughs> Chuck is furious. We're oh, kidding. Come he, on. Shelby's dad, he passed away. Easily. He fell down a flight of stairs. I've never met stairs. him. You know that? Uh, what? No one has. Never met him once. I've known him for oh, years. Wow. I've never met him. Wow. But sweet guy. We miss him. Hopefully he's still up on that crow's nest in Astoria. <laughs> Who knows what he's doing? Shuffling papers or... Uh... No, he's working with Freed, I think, oh, still. Good. Monas Freed. knows him. What? Yeah, I was like, yeah, we had this guy, uh, Shelby. He goes, I know Shelby. He does this show and that show. Yeah, he's thriving. Oh, all right, good. All right, good to hear, Shelby. Yeah, I texted with him not that long ago. Ah. He told me, he's like, he's like, I had an opportunity I couldn't say no to. That's why I left. Because we talked about it afterwards. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. I thought he hated us. He probably still does, but. No, oh, I think he likes us. All right. Shell Town. Shell Bow. That might have done Shell Oil. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. That's don't Derek. don't look at the text. Well, this is it. This is a crazy run of shows. We just did six episodes in two weeks. Wow, it's a record. And I, I gotta say, I'm I'm in Australia right now, and I miss you. Yeah, I miss you, buddy. Well, you might be back by now. I don't know when are you back. I have twenty no first. I know it's gonna be a long haul. You guys are gonna forget about me. You're gonna get a new guy in here. There's gonna be some guy bitching about the prices of things, being late, lying. You know, the whole nine. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'm going to get replaced. Yeah. Jews will not replace us. By the way, we got to record that. like right when you get back. All right, good. Well, I'll have a <laughs> fucking <laughs> war well, chest. For five weeks, though. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll yeah. have so much time off. I'll yeah, have a war yeah. chest full of stories. I'll be like Canterbury or Aesop. Yeah. That'll be good. Oh, my God. We still have to do a bonus. Ah. Oh, my we're, we're, we're okay ass. on time, actually. Yeah, we're looking okay. Yeah, did but, great today. You guys did great. Where are you going to be there, Fat Man? You got any stuff coming up? Well, I think all the clubs burned down by the time this comes out. The Let apocalypse me see here. has happened. All right. July. We're into July, which is crazy. July, July 3rd. third. <laughs> They gotta get some new material. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Well, the Gramercy is next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Holy shit. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's all pipes. A week from today, next Tuesday, Gramercy. That's gonna be fun. Uh, Irvine, California, July 13, 14, 15, San Jose Improv, oh, July 20th fun. through the 22nd, August, August is crazy, August 3rd through the 5th, Providence Comedy Connection, Portland Helium, August 10th through the 12th, I'll have, uh, Monus with me on that one, You're Dallas all over that West Improv. Coast. August uh, 24th and 26th. Oh, I'm going to be diamond status again. No question about it. Hell yeah. Philadelphia Live Tuesdays with Stories on August 22nd. Woo! Then September. It's coming up right around the corner. I'm doing a one-off at Zanies on uh, September 6th. That's in between Pearl Jam shows. Where's Zanies? Chicago. Chicago. Oh, got it. So I'm going to Pearl Jam Tuesday, headlining Zanies Wednesday, then Pearl Jam Thursday. What a life. Then I head out to... Uh, San Francisco oh, from right. Chicago to do Cobbs. That's the 8th and 9th. And then Nashville 
September 21st, 22nd, 23rd. We're doing a live Tuesday, September 19th at the Gramercy. And then the 20th, I'm in Huntsville, Alabama. Ooh, ending and then, it off Jesus, not strong. After that, I'm at Skankfest. Wow, you're going to be oh. bipping and bopping and booing. And my wife's going to be eight months pregnant. Eey! I'm going to be living the high life. <laughs> yeah, well, somebody's going to make the, the scratch. Boy, that's oh, a bad husband. I'm gone the whole month. Well, you're working. You're providing. Right. Holy shit. And she doesn't want to see you anyway. She's going to have a bun in the oven. She's going to want that whole apartment, put her feet up. She doesn't want you yapping about Silent Re or uh, teeth. Oh, that's horrible. That's your last hurrah, too, because the baby's going to come right after that. And yeah, then, uh, yeah, October, Philadelphia Helium. That's my uh, last year. And then Royal Oak, right before the baby's born. These are great rooms. And then it's all over after that. It's all pipes. Well, I'll be in Australia, as you know. I've brought it up 98 times. And the theater tour is coming Get on it. The tickets are moving, folks. We're going to add some shows. I'm coming to your town, San Diego, L.A., Denver, you name it, Atlanta, uh, Alabama, Mississippi, New Orleans. The, the list goes on. It's all on the website, marknormancomedy.com. Get on the Patreon. We're cooking. We're booking. We're snooking. Praise Allah. Chuck. Uh, my podcast, Fun Bearable. Uh, recently, we had Matt Wayne on and Andrew Chavone. And uh, I think around this time, we're going to have Alan Fitzgerald on. He's a great comic in New York. I just directed his special. It's going to come out like next week. I don't know Alan Fitzgerald. Oh, he's great. I was telling you his jokes when we were at the wedding. Oh, uh, yeah. Those are very funny. He's really good. Yeah, yeah. But we'd, uh, yeah, that's coming out soon. So he'll be on around this time. FunBearablePod.com. All right, folks. Well, you heard it here last. Thanks a lot. We're Tuesdays. How long is running pod in the city? We'll see you all in hell. Praise the love.